Welcome to another day, another glorious day and glorious morning shower. The word for our shower today is the misery of the communion in opening our eyes. How communion can open our spiritual eyes. Many have taken communion as a religion activity. They have taken it as a common thing that we do from time to time. But today, God wants to let you know that the eyes He told us about yesterday that need to be open for us to see deep things of the Spirit can be open through the use of communion. The book of Luke, chapter 24, 30 to 31, talk about the story of two of Jesus' disciples on their way to the place called Emmaus. And as they were discussing on the way, the Bible says Jesus came among them. And they were arguing. And Jesus asked them, what is it that you guys are talking about? And they told him, are you a stranger? They didn't know he was Jesus. So you can see what I'm talking about. They were not blind. They could see. They were on their way walking. And the same Jesus that they were talking about, or what happened in Jerusalem, how he was crucified, how they say he resurrected, and how they couldn't find him anymore. And the same Jesus was among them. Yet, they didn't know. Until they got to a place. And Jesus now asked, ah, can I spend a night with you people? They said, okay, no problem. And Jesus came in with them. He now asked in verse 30. And, as it, and it came to pass that he sat at meal with them. He took bread and blessed it, and break it and gave them to eat. And their eyes were open. And they now knew it was Jesus. Until Jesus took communion with them. They couldn't see. So why is it that our own communion today has become like a religious activity. No more opening of eyes. Why? Because many are taking it in their flesh. Many are taking it in what? In the flesh. And immediately he revealed himself through the communion. The Bible says he vanished from their sight. So anytime we take communion, our spiritual eyes is open to see things that are hidden. Remember, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the eye of any man what God has in stock for them that love him. But the verse 10 of that scripture says, that's 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 says, but God has revealed it to us by His Spirit. What? By the eyes of the Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, ye the deep things of God. So, over depending on this physical eyes has granted many destinies. And this month, by the grace of God, 
those destinies are going to be recovered. There's going to be a taking back of our destiny in the name of Jesus. It's a very rare time that God is bringing this to us. Many are flying with different messages for the month of February, month of love, month of affection, month of whatever, month of uh, uh, vision, mission. No, they are all good. But specifically, God needed us to have a quick recovery so that we can have the best of the year. It's not leaving our recovery till October. No, now, now. So whatever it is that you are going through now is a preparation for your recovery. But one thing you need to do now is that engage the use of the communion. Put your family together on a dining table, on a table. Take communion with your family. Once in a week. If you can even do it daily, go ahead and do it. The Bible says do it always in remembrance of me. So the communion have that potency of opening the eyes of a man. Those things were hidden from normal eyes but revealed to the other eyes. You don't see anything after communion because you take it in the flesh and in carnality. Remember in the same book of Luke chapter 24, verse 41 of it says, And why the year believe not? Now he has come again. After he revealed himself to those two people on the road, he came in their midst to where the other disciples gathered. And he was talking to them. And the Bible said because they were overjoyed of what they were, they were too happy that ah, Jesus was, they didn't know he was the one. Yes, they didn't believe him. Then he said, he said, and why they yet believe not and wondered, he said unto them, have ye any meat here? And they gave him a piece of a boiled fish and of a honeycomb. That was what he used to do the communion then. And he took it and he did it before them. Then verse 45, he said, Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scripture. You see, compare this scripture to the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18. You see, that your eye of your understanding. Now, you can see, the book called eyes here. He said he opened up their understanding. So these eyes we are talking about is your understanding. Your understanding. You are seeing something differently from what other sees. He said, he said when men shall say there is a casting down, ye shall say there is a lifting up. It's at the same time. When men shall say there is a destruction, we are saying there is a lifting up. Why? Because we are looking at that same situation, that same scenario with a different eye. When everyone on the street of Nigeria is groaning, we are saying it is well with us. We are not going down, we are going up. When every pocket looks dry, our own is also looking dry from the physical eyes, but in it we are rejoicing in abundance. There is going to be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus on glorious money shower today. As you go out today, engage the misery of the communion in brightening your understanding taking you from the realm of the physical into the realm of the spiritual. And if, it dwell, if you dwell there too long, you will see the movement of the spirit. You will see the happening of the spirit. You will see yourself moving at the frequency of the miraculous. That's going to be a portion today in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you on glorious morning shower. May you return back today with testimony in Jesus' name.